competition, all I see is me. Still zip them up, but lay down. You gotta take me off my feet. It's that time, nigga. Welcome back. Episode. No, that shit sound ugly. It sound like it's goddamn corporate. Still a nigger. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 45 of Black Visionary Podcast, man. Got the one and only. Yes, sir. Full of the great. Yes, sir. If y'all don't know that's the man. That's that's who on the intro song, man. This way, not that way. On my ATNL. Black Visionary Podcast. Black Visionary Podcast. News. Black Visionary Podcast. Black Visionary Podcast. New gifted visionary. I would drop the names, you know what I'm saying? But me and my, my boy ain't here, so you know what I'm saying? Y'all know who it is, man. Let's get to it, man. Yes, man. Introduce yourself to these people, man. I'm just a nigger. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, all right, let's take this off podcast. Yeah, let's take this off like, YouTube right now. You down. You know, I'm full of the great. <laughs> AKA the band guy. AKA the go to child. This way, not that way. I've been knowing this ugly ass nigga to hell for me for a minute. That's crazy. For a minute. He looked like. How he look when I met him? <laughs> <laughs> hey, literally, cause I, I, my shit was short as hell, my dress. Then I cut my hair. Now I gotta just twist this shit. Facts. And hey, that's funny as hell. But yeah, <laughs> I'm the artist that's on the intro song. Shit, I got merch. I got drinks. Yeah, man, my boy. Oh, uh, I'm here now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, go ahead. I ain't got nothing made up right now. I got. Ah, uh, man. They gonna be on the podcast. Nigga couldn't ship. We could have we could have had them jumps on here right now. Right. That's crazy, man. But shit, hey. Let me see what I'm gonna start with this motherfucker at, man. No. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I should have had these jumps numbered, but I didn't. It don't matter. Alright, so I'm gonna start with what what's your musical influences? Oh. Yeezy first. That's first and foremost. Hey, that's your guy. That's all you talk about is Yeezy, man. Yeezy, what, what's Yeezy. that about? Shit, I just see a lot of myself in Kanye. That nigga gonna be him. He ain't gonna take no bullshit. He gonna stand on whatever he believe in. It don't matter how he look. You yeah, he don't care. Uh, nigga, done, like I said earlier on the book, nigga done went number one in almost every genre. Pop, hip-hop, gospel. You got a he point there. He just ain't there. dead rock. But uh, like I said, yay. Wayne, 50, uh, Drake, Cole, Kendrick. The GOAT it's right lot. there. It's a lot. Uh, young nigga wise, I'm fucking with 21, Kodak, and uh, Pierre Bourne. Yeah, yeah. So, now let's say somebody, intro- so they introduce you right now. They seeing your face for the first day. If they ain't been paying attention to the channel, because you got music videos and stuff like that on the channel. Facts. If they was listening to you right now, a new person, what songs you got them to go listen to? Uh, go get a long time. Uh, the, 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 the intro, make a change. She a cold motherfucker. Okay. One and two. Okay. Need to go and drop that uh, full of stuff. You <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> tell it too much. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, man. So, okay. Yeah, speaking on that, so you told me off, you know what I'm saying, before that you feel like you don't got to drop nothing. Like, why you think that is? Because I'm not inspired by a lot of these new niggas that are out. So you saying new niggas in general, or are you talking about the competition around the area? Both, especially in the area. I don't feel like it's nobody that really tests me lyric-wise. Yeah. For real, for real. Everybody can do the the same old same old punchlines. It's what a, you know. It really is a lot of days. Everybody using the same punchlines, just in a different way. Ain't nobody talking about nothing. Ain't nobody sending no message in no song. Just no inspiration. So with that, I I hear what you're saying, but when that when that just inspire you to keep going, you know what I'm saying? You could be the trendsetter for that. Yeah. And you also can distance yourself even further if you feel like you so like you're ahead of everybody, you know what I'm saying? But I kinda work off energy around me. Uh-huh. I got I feel like I only could push myself so far. I feel like everybody Bruh. you only can push yourself so far and then you need a booster. I swear to God, that's need, that's how it be, to, man. You need to hear a nigga and be like, Damn, that nigga went harder than me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You need to hear something that you feel like you gotta top. You right, know? right. I don't feel like I gotta top nothing right now. Like that, that be the important thing. Like yeah, like you saying, it's like if you don't see nobody else going hard with you, or even like when I was doing music videos, I always had competition. Like okay, I see what's going on over there, 
And now, like, I'm doing podcast. I don't know anybody else that's doing podcast. And it's like, I get kind of, you get that plateau. It's like, man, what else can we do to Facts. go up a little bit more? Facts. So, it's a lot of what I do is I look for competition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I be trying, but shit. I, I look for a nigga I feel like is better than me. You know, lyric-wise, See, yeah. flow style, and, you know, I try to top it. Yeah. Because, like, you only compete with yourself for so long. Yeah. You to make yourself, you know what I'm saying, iron sharp, sharpens iron. And you got to find other iron to sharpen your iron. And that's what I like to do, so. Shit. It's, it should be easy for you as a rapper. But, like, for me doing this shit, like, I, only people I can look up to is the motherfuckers that's bigger. Joe Budden and them shit like that. Facts. M- million dollars worth of game. So, it's like, shit. See, I do that, too. And in the industry, it ain't no. Yeah. It ain't no inspiration at all, for yeah. real. Shit, you better than me. Now, I'd be, I'd be dissing everybody, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie. If I was a rapper, anybody, anybody get this shit. I'm going to take that route. I'm yeah. going to be me. I'm always be me. Yeah, so like you feel like you a, a shark in the water. Swim through that water like a shark. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so none of them go, man. Facts. Swim through that water like a shark on my mama. But um, shoot, I don't feel like. I just feel like I'm me. I feel like it's a lot of sharks. You know what I'm saying? Everybody could be a shark in their own way. It's a different type of sharks. You got nurse sharks, tiger sharks, great white sharks. You feel me? So I'm the shark that ain't never been discovered before. This nigga said he the megalodon. You hear me? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go. How big for you is believability in in the person's rap? You said what? How, how important is like believability in, in rap for you? Very important. That's rule number one. If I can't believe you, yeah. I'm not listening to Hey, the funny thing about this shit, though, man, like, I've done videos with people I grew up with and shit like that, and it's like, bro, I know you're not living like that. I know for a fact that's not true. And it be and it's hard to be like, just take it serious. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I can't, can't. I can't take you serious, bro. I know it's not true. And that's a lot of, re- that's a lot of, you know, part of why I'm not inspired. Yeah. I'm listening to these niggas, and I'm seeing them on a daily basis. You ain't killed nobody. You ain't shot nobody. Does that stop? You, and if you did, it was in self defense, and they don't count because anybody would do that. Yeah. Anybody gonna protect their life in self defense? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Does it stop you from collaborating with some people, or you don't care about that if they paying? They gotta pay me at this point, and I really don't. I really don't care to mingle because I know what I'm finna provide, and I'm gonna be me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and be too. Two whole different vibes. I know how to stay in my lane. I don't like to do the cap route, you know. Yeah, yeah. Driving Bugatti, woo, woo, woo. nigga. I drive a 2016 Ford Fusion. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> like with that, like the believability. How do you, like, what's your take on like all the snitch and shit that's coming out, all the allegations like that? Like, cause you got the. All right, wait, wait, wait. Matter of fact, just cause I just heard this coming on my way here to your, to that to this motherfucker, so. The shit that Ti said, he put the um, the charges on his cousin that died and shit. Now, how do you how do you look at that situation? Is that snitching or or what? Because from what I uh, from what I understand from it, the, I put it like I'm just gonna put it like this: if the nigga was breathing, would they call it snitching? I, mean, I guess you got a point. Snitch, <laughs> <laughs> but but look, but I mean, from people, I, I'm not in the streets and shit like that. But like from what I said, they said that's what they that's what they do. Like everybody saying that about him. But ain't nobody touched on the on the dirt situation in Vaughn. Cause he basically put them charges on Vaughn and Vaughn already dead. You know what I'm saying? Hey. So is that snitching? Choose, they pick and choose. If you know what I'm saying, they pick and choose. That's just the best way to say it. All of telling to me. Okay, so you know what I'm saying? But okay, if it is it telling if the lawyer is doing it, even if you ain't even telling the the lawyer to do this shit. Yeah, because they putting your name on it and you approving it. Okay. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I can't say shit today. So you put your name on it, you approve it. Cause they they do it like twenty different things of snitching. They saying that is it snitching if nobody get no time? You know what I'm saying? Cause if he dead, I mean, a snitch is a snitch, nigga. Don't mean like that's like how can I put it? I like a motherfucker snitching on you. Say you you get caught up, yeah, you know whatever. The motherfucker tell on you. Even if your girl don't leave, it's still snitching. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah. apply the same. Just because a nigga didn't go to jail don't mean nothing. 
he could have had himself protected, you know, had his ducks in a row. All right, we back, we back, we back. So what we, what we talking about, the, uh, the snitching and shit like that, right? Niggas be snitching. Snitching and snitching. I don't know, man. All right, so let's just say me and you, for example, we finna go do something. And I say, hey, something happened to me, bro. Just put it on me. You you still wouldn't do it? Even if I gave you the the, the, the blessing, the permission? That's different. If, if I die, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a it's a cop out. Yeah. But the way I am, I wasn't there. <laughs> like <laughs> I wasn't there. I don't know, Nathaniel. Daniel. Say, that nigga dead, how you know? He can't tell you I was there. Uh, exactly. I wasn't there. I don't know what went on. Hey, yeah, that, that do make sense, yeah, though. If you got me on camera, show me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got this, show me. I wasn't there. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm taking it to the grave. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I don't put myself in them situations either, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to do my dirt, I'm going to do my dirt by myself. Yeah, because this is a whole different thing. I guess we're talking about that time I went to jail, so I didn't tell. No, no, nah, exactly. I was, talking, I was like, we talking about that, so like, yeah. cause I just talked about that um that part in, in that Biggie movie. He like, man, you got some shit going on for you, man. I take the charge for this. So like, you know what I'm saying? For y'all don't know, I th- how how long ago is this, man? I, Nigga, I was like, we was like, I was like 17, 18. So I had to be like around 19. No, it had to be after that because I was it was after I went to college. So I was probably like 21, fresh to 21, 22. You right. I was like nineteen, going on twenty. You right. Yeah. yeah, it was right before we went out west. And it, the whole thing started because of the fucking the drinks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So, but well, no, it started because we were sitting in a in a parking lot. Remember, we in the uh, yeah, 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 club yeah. and yeah. shoot uh, part of uh, but, part of gunning music video. But, yeah, and they claimed that they 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 said something because of opening containers and shit. Yeah, remember? So like, we went shoot the video at this club or whatever. We came back out, and I had I had the the high point. <laughs> <laughs> I had the house. Then they were going to get her killed. We got to shoot out. <laughs> my mama. We had a high point. <laughs> I had the high point in the bag, man. And it was in the in like the little window <laughs> part of the car or whatever. So, Behind me. Yeah, yeah. So the police, you know what I'm saying? I guess they they, they looked in the bag while we was in, in the inside or whatever. Now, how, what had happened? Me, Gunny. Me, Gunny, and Red. Me, Gunny, and Red stayed in the car. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. See, I don't know what happened. So you can go and talk to that and I forgot who else was with us. Y'all went and checked out the club yeah. to see if it was even worth one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? To shoot the video in. So while y'all in the club, they had already came back, uh, came by and told us to get out the car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To leave. Y'all got out. We stayed in the car. We went on y'all to come back out. Before y'all can even come back out, like it's like as soon as y'all went in, the police came over, went, uh, flashlight in the window yeah. and shit, telling us to get out the car. You know, this then the third. They seen it. Uh, Open container, Gunny was drinking, yeah, or whatever. So you know, they trying to search the car, shit like that. You know, Gunny telling him his, his liquor, he you know, up yeah, age. yeah, yeah, yeah. We in a the car, they done hit us, man. They done already hit us with open container. We ain't even drunk, they right? Tell, just on some fluke shit, right, right. So next thing you know, they start searching. Your bag was behind me. Red was on the other side of the car. Hey, that, that was a fake Gucci bag. <laughs> <laughs> Your bag behind me. Uh, the police get the bag or whatever. They go through it. They see it's a gun. Automatically, they got like four or five people around. Yeah. Man, whose gun is this? I don't know, but it ain't yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know who, who gun it is. He's he so, he so hold it up. I came around the corner right there. I said, Damn, oh, no. I said, I don't know who gun yeah, is Yeah, he's so asking y'all. Mine. I walked up. I'm like, hey. It's mine, man. Because <laughs> that'd be some fucked up shit that nobody, if I didn't say nothing, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna go to jail because I don't know yeah. nothing. It ain't mine. I was going to beat it because they could have ran a fingerprint. Yeah, yeah. I ain't even touched it. Yeah, I would, man. That'd have been fucked up if I'd been like, no, nah, I ain't going to say nothing. Nah, like, I would prepare to go to jail that night, though, because I sure wasn't telling. It yeah. ain't mine. I don't know whose it is, but it ain't mine. Yeah, so shit. I need. <laughs> Chill out. Father of the year over here. Y'all know what it is, man. Real life shit, man. Every day. They can't do no more respect it. But yeah, like in that situation, man. See, that's what I'm be understanding. Like if it's your shit, man, it's it's cool to not, you know, everybody just not say nothing, stay silent. But man, right. at the same time, I knew it was my shit. I ain't I don't want anybody else getting even going through all all that extra shit. Facts. Over nothing. Especially yeah. you, know, you, ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what most of these do. If y'all do some shit, man, you get caught, bro. Don't. If you is, if, it, yeah, yeah. Nuts. Even if, like if it's a good chance, you know they can't prove this shit. That's another thing. But motherfucker found it right in the car, so yeah, it's mine, man. <coughs> but they ain't making no better. 
Yeah. Folks ran my name. I got my daddy name. They calling me his nickname and shit. You know what I'm saying? They, they on your ass. Bro, they had like six police on me in like 30 seconds. It went from two police at the car to like <laughs> 10. Nigga, as soon as they found that gun, like 10, all you hear people in the background like, damn. Nigga, nigga, nigga going to jail. Woo, woo. I was so like, oh, I'm like, damn, I'm way over. I don't know who the fuck to call. I'm like, hey, man, call my mom or somebody, man. I can get a number, man. I'm like, hey, let me get the number before I leave, man. That shit was wild. Hey, I went to court. I was like, hey, yo, I don't know how to shoot a gun. Yeah, was, I think they had us. Uh, they wouldn't even let us come up in there when you was yeah. on that, John. They had us waiting outside. And we had to go to court, too, for the, they talking about some fucking drinking, underage drinking. Yeah. Yeah, that shit crazy, man. That shit was so fucking boring in there. But... I ain't gonna lie, jail went jail ain't as bad as motherfuckers be making sense. Like motherfuckers ain't like, oh yeah, you gonna beat that shit, bro. Don't even worry about it, man. You know what I'm saying? You good up in here, man. Nobody gonna fuck with you. Anybody on that weird ass shit in here, man. You good. I, everybody's looking at my papers and shit, trying to see what I did. They're like, oh yeah, you beating that. Niggas think they lawyers. <laughs> and so I'm like, man, I don't know, I don't have any bullets in there. I don't know how to load a gun. I don't know nothing about it. <coughs> hey, somewhere with you, like I ain't never they ain't never had a fucking high point in my hands. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know nothing about this motherfucker. <laughs> You like, well, you surrendered a gun, we'll drop the charges. I'm like, so you got it, motherfucker. <laughs> it wasn't nothing for them. They knew that shit was bogus anyway. Yeah. So. I was just like, man, I just had to protect myself, man. You they know what I'm saying? Off, they got off by getting me a red for underage drinking. We wasn't even drinking. I, I think we was talking about that with uh with Gunny one day, because he was like, Man, you know, you was with me, you was good. I'm like, at the same time, I really don't know y'all. Yeah. This is my first time actually being Facts. by myself and around with other people, and I ain't driving. So I'm like, shit. I got like now I know y'all motherfuckers and shit, so that's a different story. I'm like, shit, the time, nigga. I just started doing videos and shit. I don't know nothing about nothing. Then you was in Yen City though, so yeah. See, I don't even know shit about that motherfucker for real. Still yeah, don't. I always say, nigga, you can't control other people. Like, I can yeah. tell them, oh, you straight. Nobody gonna fuck with you, but you can't control what other, another motherfucker yeah. gonna do. You know what I'm saying? All you can do is just really be prepared to help the nigga. Some shit go down. Yeah, for real, for real. Niggas was on that though, so. But I see that I don't resp- I like okay. Let's just say if you got beef with somebody, you be like, hey, if I'm gonna do a video, I'm, I got beef with niggas. You know, what the woo might happen. Yeah. But I was doing a video for a nigga. I don't even want to say his name. You know, you, you probably know him. I don't know. And the nigga we, got the fight in the middle. That's the joint you shot them niggas fighting. Nah, 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 nah. It was just me and this nigga. He was shooting. He was. He just happened to turn around. He like, oh, she go to the office right there. Nigga ran. Got his gun. Like. Bro, nigga, you ain't say shit about no fucking ops or nothing. I'm over here just recording a video. I could have been fucking in some bullshit. I ain't know nothing about. So, you, like, nigga, and I ain't going to have no choice but to start doing some shit. But at least let me be prepared for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Right. Motherfuckers don't be thinking about that shit. They don't think about themselves, though. And that ain't that ain't real right there, though. Like, if you're going to have a nigga. you going to have a nigga. Yeah, you got to let them know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, especially coming to your hood. Real fact. That definitely ain't real. If you got smoke, you ain't let a nigga know you got smoke. If you... If you don't do, yeah, that's that's green. On top of that, nigga, why are you over here where they at anyway? <laughs> they don't. I, I ain't from here, so I don't know about the fucking different type of shit. That's By yourself at that. Yeah, man. that's why I just like, bro. I ain't want to do music videos no more, man. Motherfuckers be playing. On top of that, I used to do that dumb pride shit, not no more. Yeah, niggas pride being a way dumb. Want to go prove he tough and me in a nigga hood by itself, fuck around, get molly walk. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't seen a nigga get beat up during a music video though, like his own video shoot. I ain't seen that either. Like, do you prefer to shoot videos with other people, like, like a not necessarily like a, a feature artist, but other people in your video, or you do rather do it by yourself? That's a good one. Yeah. I like to have people in my videos, you know, for you know, yeah, you know, for the vibes action, and shit, yeah, yeah, vibes yeah. and shit going on. But most of the time, I can't get no no motherfuckers to act right. You can. You can offer free food. Yeah. Motherfuckers will come get the food and leave. leave. They won't even be in a the video. They'll come pull up, get the food, <laughs> smoke for free, get drunk for free, and go on about their business. I would love to do a video with a whole bunch of people, but it's just like getting motherfuckers to be real supporters. Yeah. So I know I could carry a video on my own, but that shit get old too. I like doing videos on my own because yeah. I ain't got to wait on nobody else. I can go ahead and get the shit done, but I love to do videos with with a lot of people, but my yeah. ain't real supporters. That's I see. I'm, I, I'm glad you said that. That they ain't real supporters because, like, I I did so many fucking videos where they have. Oh, I want everybody in my video, and them niggas in there texting behind these niggas while they rapping down. Know the lyrics, 
Niggas would be nodding their head off beat like this. Be that yeah, beat slow as hell. Even if you don't know the lyrics, nigga, at least jump up and down. Act yeah. like you know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Niggas looking around everywhere else, but I'm like, yeah. Shit, by the time the song go, you should know the hook. Some shit. Yeah. <laughs> you done played this motherfucker like you ten times know two, already. Three balls, something. Anything, man. I'm gonna put it just and, I, and that, uh, the fucked up part is if you've been promoting it that you finna do a video, and they be like, yeah, let me get in there, but don't take the time to go see what the fuck the song is. They, they get there. That that should be. I done, I done did that before, but most of the time I rehearse my shit. No, I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about the niggas that be in the video. Yeah, I done had a whole bunch of them. Niggas just come in the video and do whatever shit. What we and go get her. Nigga came out of nowhere. <laughs> nigga just came out of nowhere, <laughs> guy, and it worked. Yeah, you know yeah, it saying? worked. It worked. But I about did this shit the other day. I, when I was on the phone with you, I, uh, I told you I pulled up. Nigga was uh, shooting a video at the little gas station. Yeah, he would by himself. I started to pull up behind him while the camera was rolling, <laughs> jump out, jump in the video, and my work clothes. I'm oh, God. I'm like, no, man. I don't, I don't nah, know. Nah, not I've seen him around and shit. But yeah, not in work clothes, man. Stay in your car, man. Hey, don't do that to I'll him, I'll do man. that. Don't do that to him, man. If if Verizon let me shoot a music <laughs> video in the store, I'll do that. <laughs> on my mom. Hey, that'd be a hard-ass video to do, like, when the, uh, what's that shit, that Featuring Drake? Dealing customers and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Featuring Drake, that should be hard. Yeah, they let me shoot one in there, I'll do that. All right. So, how do you, on, like, on... How do you navigate the mu- navigate the music in the streets as a street artist? Like, how do you? What you mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you been, you make street type of music, you know what I'm saying? So how do you go, how do you balance that between actually being out there in the streets and the music, you feel me? Like, do you? I don't even consider myself as, like, a street artist. I feel like, who can I, man, it's Scarface. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, yeah. It's street. I want to say street is hood. And yeah, knowledgeable is gonna. Be, I'm gonna, you know, talk about something. I got my records while I be on that dumb shit, but I yeah. didn't do that because I feel like you know I want to appeal to that crowd. But it's I'm more. Re- but is it more relatable as a broad to everybody that's in the streets? Whether you trapping, you just a nigga my from music, the hood. Yeah, I feel like my music relate to anybody. You could be yeah. a street nigga, you could be a hood nigga, you could be a nine to five nigga. Yeah, man. You could be a nerd. Anybody gonna be able to relate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I break it down. It's, it's simple. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my songs, I like to just be straight to the point. Niggas be want to do too much, and that's where shit fuck up to me. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm so I like to like now. Why I ain't drop? Like I told you, I like to go through shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to force music out. Yeah, yeah. That's what a lot of people doing right now. They forcing music out just to. Say they drop something just to still be in somebody's face. Yeah. Just to, you know what I'm saying? When I put something out, I want this shit, man. Like now, I ain't dropped the project since 2020, but people still hit me up to this day. But this shit still bumping. That's what, like, that's what I'm aiming to do. Yeah, yeah. When I put something out, it's out here. And still got longevity and shit. Yeah. yeah. I ain't trying to, man, drop a song and it's a hit for two weeks and a motherfucker never think about it again. And a lot of they be dating the music too, because it's all, all sound like it's in their period. And it's all the same yeah. type of music. So no, I like to be versatile. I don't, I don't feel like I sound the same on there. So I like, yeah, know, I switch it up pretty good. I, I could be melodic. I can, you know, just rap. I can, you know, what I'm saying. I feel like a lot of people don't evolve it. Like I'm not the biggest Jay Z fan, but he have adapted to every era of music, and he, as he level up, he. He talk more about the shit he level up. Like, I hate when niggas make it and still talk about the trenches and shit. Like, bro, you ain't there no more. Let's hear your growth, I do, nigga. I do fuck with that about him, but I don't give a fuck with none of y'all talking about. That nigga's not the GOAT. Yeah, I seen them niggas. My, he number one. He's nah, not the GOAT. There. I'm sorry. I think they put him number one because his age and shit. And he's still, age and he yeah. a billionaire. I feel like that's why they did that. He is not the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gone yet, though. Wayne different. Wayne different. We're going, we're going lyric. Wayne different. I don't know. Wayne oh, yeah, okay, okay. Wayne. So how you feel about Eminem? Swanick and panicking. Fresher than a man. <laughs> hey, Rio going to be like, hey, that's it. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. Hey, but I was telling him, I'm like. Old Slim Shady was, old Slim Shady was raw. I don't even like to call him Eminem because that's how I yeah. Slim Shady. 
like I, Slim Shady, please stand up. I was just telling him, I'm like, people fuck but with I him. I feel like he overrated. I feel like yeah, he was in that same shit he, too. He a, he a white boy that got bars that and too. <laughs> rap fast, and you know what I'm saying? Like he ain't the goat either. I'm, I was, going, I'm going Wayne if we just yeah. go off lyric wise. Wayne. Now if we're going like off messaging songs with you know it's different categories. Yeah. You know what I'm saying we're going. You gotta put. You gotta put Cole, Kendrick, and Tupac all in the same bracket. You know what I'm saying? As far as like messages, yeah, yeah, lyricism and stuff like that. But if we going off everything, when I say everything, because a lot of these niggas just rappers. I don't yeah. look at myself as See, a rapper. that's I'm an artist, not necessarily you know a rapper. But that's why I said that's, that's why I tell the real. I'm like that's why I like Eminem. Like as far as just the rapping ability and technical skills, he's good at that. Yeah. Like he probably later on in his career ain't got lot, shit to talk it's about. A lot to play into it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like. Like the Michael Jackson it factor. Who can stand on stage and make a motherfucker pass out or just cry? Shit, just, I can do that anytime. Saying? You feel me? That <laughs> ain't shit to me, nigga. But I'm talking about as far as like these new, yeah. like who can, ain't nobody just really got the it factor like that. And they ain't touching, they ain't touching the people. All, them niggas all make the same music, bro. Everybody. <laughs> That's why they Everybody. ain't got the it factor. Everybody. I can go listen to Lil Baby and go listen to fucking Dirk and hear the same That's fucking music. Like, it's, it's few people that's gone, like you know Drake finna. You know what I'm saying? You know Beyonce gonna pack out. You know shit like Jay Z. You know yeah. Jay Z finna pack out. You know finna. You know what I'm saying? But as far as like it factor, yeah, I only feel like one person got that, bro. And that's Yay. It don't matter what he do. Nigga threw a listening party in a stadium. You know what I'm saying? People get quiet just yeah. to see what he doing on a beat machine. That you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. It's different, you know. It's real different. Nigga can come out there with a mask on and motherfuckers gonna go crazy. I think Kendrick got the the potential to get up there. Definitely. As, as, I feel like, I feel like, cause, man. Cause you know how they saying like who got the best three album run or four album I run? I feel like Cole, I like Cole better. I, I guess it's cause I, I can relate to, I feel like me and Cole had a similar lifestyle growing up. Yeah. But it's like, I fuck with Kendrick too. And like accolade wise, man, they horn them on Grammys, but that shit really don't mean nothing yeah, no yeah. more. But accolade, like as far as personal achievements with albums and shit, bro. Cole as far, man. But Cole, Cole don't went platinum by itself. And all, like they both got their ones, but yeah. it's like bro, it's different, album, bro. It's different. Kendrick, Man, it's different. To have an album named the best album of all time. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Who? Kendrick. Oh, I thought you my Cole, but no, but no, so, okay. Kendrick. You got you got yay. What is it? Um, college dropout, late registration, graduation, three out the gate. Kendrick, good kid, Pimple butterfly down, three out the gate. Them niggas is like they. I haven't heard a bad hey, Kendrick the first album three yet. Albums? No. Like um, uh, what's what's uh Kanye fourth album? Is it uh? Eight Oh Eight and Heartbreak. And then it was uh, uh, and that went number one pop. And then after that, what was it? My beautiful dark. Yeah, Christmas I think Fantasy. so. Yeah, yeah. Masterpiece. Yeah, that's <laughs> masterpiece. Imagine that motherfucker number uh, four though. <laughs> man, uh, then it was Jesus. I ain't heard. I ain't heard. I didn't hear that one. Jesus. That. A lot of people don't like to put. Well, you could say it was a rock album, and he did go number one. So, bro, I have literally went yeah. number one in every genre, bro. Yeah, and that's different. You know what I'm saying? That's artistry right there. That's what I look at. You know what I'm saying? Like that's real. Can't nobody just sit up there and besides Wayne down there, yeah. I done made every genre and went number one. You yeah. know, so Life of Pablo, the most slept on album he got. I don't, I can't recall really listening to all of it, but it's, it it got some slaps on that. That's what uh father stretched my hands and shit and shit like that on that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So I got my next question. Okay, so this is more of an interview question. Though. Like, how do you balance music, making music, like life, you know, family and stuff like the end work? I know that shit hard. I'm right. going through it right. It ain't now. easy. I promise I make it look easy, <laughs> but it ain't easy. It's Boy. Like really just. I ain't gonna cap to you. It be days where a nigga be like, man, I go to work and then come home. We gotta go to a basketball game. Yeah. And they both play basketball. They used to play baseball. Uh, I'm gonna play volleyball and then he play football too. So it's just like, shit, you working a full time job and you get off. If you ain't going to a game, you picking one of them up from practice. Yeah. Taking them home and then you turn around, taking the other one to practice. As soon as you take them to practice, you got to go get 
your youngest child from daycare. After you get her, by the time you get her, it's time to pick the other one back up. Yeah, practice. yeah, yeah. So most of the time when I work on the stuff I want to work on, it's, it's time of the night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I go out on the porch, play some beats, try to get some inspiration. Or I fuck around on Fruity Loops, trying to make a beat. Yeah, it be, man. Boy, I'm telling it's you. It's hectic. I ain't no cap to you. Hey, have you, have you watched that Wu-Tang joint? You still watching that shit? Yes. You watched the last season so far? Yes. Where his girl left him. Which one? Season two or season three. three? That must be the new episode. Yeah, it's like, I think the... That's the one that, I watched it where they went on tour. Yeah, it's after the, that. Yeah, it's after that. Tour. I ain't seen the one after No, that. it's before that actually because... Uh, no, I, I asked that because she was like, um, this is the part of the journey I get off. Is it, is it becoming too much? And I'd be like, come on, bro. Like, you was with this nigga. He was when dirt poor. Broke. Yeah. yeah. Like, we broke. like, you... My point about this is, is, is like... You seen the nigga lose everything in this fucking flood, and you still chose to leave him oh, after yeah, he yeah, been stressing. He took on a date, and she acted yeah, like that. Good yeah, yeah. Like, come on, bro. Like, you see the nigga stressing, trying to get back on <laughs> on a timeline. Goddamn me, they they don't put on OD shit, ODB shit. They get sued for about a million. Like, come on, bro. Let the nigga go through what he going through. After the nigga ain't say specifically, you in my way. The fuck you trying to leave for? <laughs> Man, shit like that, bro. It's like it, it's hard to find somebody that's gonna be there and understand really the cool, grind, yeah. relate what's going on, ain't ain't stressing you and bugging you about this shit. Thanks. And that's that be the that be the part too. Like when I be having to do a lot, a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? And even having to come down here, driving from Texas and shit, knowing the strength it, it was kind of putting on us. We're having, you know what I'm saying? But motherfucker got to understand. Hey, you want to get to this level, you got to make sacrifices. You got to at all times. Like, like motherfucker might not want to want to have a, a movie night, a date night. I got I got other shit to do right now. You know what I'm saying? It'll be like that, and motherfucker be so drained because you're trying to balance and keep it everything yeah. all at the same level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make everything. I can't even find a word. I'm too hot. Yeah. <laughs> especially if you're doing it like make if you, everything correlate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so. Like especially, if it's you're, definitely a task. It ain't for the week. But a nigga gotta have some money. Yeah, you know? well, I don't see how motherfuckers and then like. outside of that, nigga, like you said, balancing all that music, shit. Then so, your own businesses. Yeah, you know yeah, hey, man, it's a lot. It's I don't see how motherfuckers be like, yeah, I ain't finna work. I'm gonna just focus on this one thing. Like <laughs> that's it, crazy to me. Which you supposed to, but yeah, but I'm like, how I'm you going until it's making the yeah, yeah, pay my bills. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what if you saying? motherfucker just being. See now in that situation, if a motherfucker just relying on one person to take care of everything, yeah, you a bum ass nigga, man. Come on, bro. Like that that's not real, nigga. It's not. <laughs> motherfuckers, man, they be on one, man. Niggas would get on the bus just to man get there. Gotta do what you gotta do. Man. They just need a ride. It's real yeah. when you when you making that uh sacrifice, you're like I know I gotta work, so I'm working and doing this on the side. Yeah. That's the to. payoff right there. Got to. All right, so I'm gonna go back to I got another street question, man. This only asking this because the last three or four episodes we did have been doing like the community and stuff like that. Yeah. So like we we had an argument about um well discussion about the kids in the streets now they the they the, they sound like they the OGs and shit and there ain't no God is in the streets from the bigger homies and stuff like that. They not the OG like it's man. So that's a good one cause but okay if you I would, think about it all the time. <clears throat> excuse me, it ain't. I don't think it ain't the. The fact that it's, it's not OG. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is, but we the OG, our, our generation are OGs. Yeah. And our generation also, man, look, I'm finna try to talk to this nigga. Yeah. This nigga don't listen. Fuck yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Ain't nobody, like, we not finna waste no time mm. trying to keep chasing a young nigga down, which, you know, you, you should to an extent, but... Yeah. Man, niggas ain't getting. If you see a nigga ain't listening, bro, it ain't worth it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta let a nigga hit the wall. You know, hit the wall, crash out, hit his head, hit rock bottom. So okay. y'all wake up humble as that. So you saying they ain't the OG? But if you are, if you wanted, if you a 13 year old nigga looking up to like a 17, 18 year old niggas laying shit down, that's who you looking up to. That's your OG Facts. to you. Facts. But. And but the the seventeen year old nigga don't give a fuck about what old niggas saying. So that's what I'm saying. That they ain't they ain't got nothing, and they don't want no guidance, and they, they fucking like up the a, whole streets. They don't like authority. They feel like they like you said. They feel like they're above authority. Yeah. They feel like they run everything. So yeah, that's why 
It's how it is how it is. Yeah. So shit. I, like I we had a dis- a discussion on how we would try to, you know what I'm saying, remedy that. But I'm just like, motherfuckers gotta come together and get them out the hood if that's what y'all really wanna do. Or get the motherfuckers together to get them niggas together. Motherfuckers just they, gonna come together. It used to be you know no you, they do. Yeah. Like it used to be you don't harm women and kids, but now motherfuckers don't give no fuck. They, they shoot up your mama house. <laughs> That's a pride thing. Yeah. Nowadays, niggas don't like to be embarrassed. This generation ain't come up how we came up. Yeah. Uh, you come to school, your line and fucked up niggas on your ass the whole Yeah, day. yeah. You going to be mad at the beginning of the day, but by the end of the day, you laughing at jokes. You don't yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Niggas checking your shoes. They on you. Motherfuckers just checking all yeah. day. Niggas don't come up under that no more. You know uh, but that's because of the internet, nigga. Yeah, no. Instead of you just roasting me, you putting this shit on the internet. internet. Motherfuckers all across the world checking my ass now. Now it's some shit when we get out of school, nigga. So, like, I understand that. Like, goddamn, that shit living there forever. You fucking 25 now. Some shit that you did when you was 17 still on the internet. Nigga, whoop your ass. That shit still on the internet. Yeah. Nigga, go look at your fight. (laughs) Yeah. But still, I feel like our generation still don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas are soft like that, but. Yeah, yeah. Shit. And if it's on there, it's on there. If it happened, it happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And nigga. Bounce back. I think that's because back in the day. This is how you bounce back. Yeah. And back in the day, it was like that. One on the internet, nigga got his ass whooped. But you could lie back in the day, niggas ain't see yeah. it. But now, no, nah, we see this motherfucker. You could lie back in the day, but I know niggas that used to get their ass whooped all the time, bro. And, man, every time they get into it with somebody, shut up, nigga, what's up? So whoop your ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Man, nigga took Be like, you ain't going to do it, though, nigga. Nigga, I know a nigga took enough ass whoopers, he started whooping ass. So, that's just, niggas ain't built like that no more. So. Niggas just go straight to the gun. Uh, nigga, learn how to fight, nigga. Can't even shoot. That be the main thing, man. I'm tired, of, I'm tired of niggas rapping about shooting that ain't never shot. I'm tired of. Niggas rapping about switches and can't even control a gun. You ain't even got a, don't even know what a switch look like. Yeah, yeah, it can't even control a regular motherfucker. Can't, you need a can't switch hit a bullseye. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, hey, I'm the best shooter around though. So you feel me? That ain't nothing to me. You you don't be want to go find out. I'm a better shooter. I'm a better driver. You can't beat me in none of this. You can't no, race. This nigga's not sent my all right. Right, we can go race it's after reason, this. It's a we reason go, we can go race after this. Rid of that charger. I, I still got it. Fusion, dude. Set the house. That charger gonna that, that man, fusion that, gonna leave your ass. That Benz would have left you. No, that Benz would have definitely ain't left meant you. To run like that, hey, it, it might. Hey, luxury car. You it would have ran. It ran out. It would have outran that motherfucker. You gonna tear that but Benz show. up trying to fuck but show it. it. All right, all right. You, man, I'm about to show this nigga one day, man. Black Panther be crawling. That's what it's gonna be doing. Literally crawling, nigga. Because it can't keep up. Black Panther be crawling. <laughs> I'll be balling that little fusion on my mama. <laughs> incognito as fuck. Yeah, but this nigga said incognito. I'm gonna skip this question. This shit don't matter, man. Cause we are you kinda already discussed it all like um dropping not dropping while the iron hot, basically. Cause I know a few niggas that, that it was on fire. Yeah, like a like a nigga drops some shit and it's going viral. I ain't gonna say viral, but like local, that shit kinda going up more than your other shit and you don't put nothing else out. Like I kind of be like, man, you gotta do some a video or something. Got to put something out. Even even if you don't like, even if it's a video to the song you put out, yeah, you do that. You got to, you got to keep building it. Man, I don't say I y'all do a better job with that. I couldn't imagine. It's too much shit to do now, man. You got to pr- cross promote on fifty different platforms and shit. Man. But I feel like. I wonder if that shit get annoying to people. I know I'd be getting annoyed. A nigga drop something, they tagging ninety nine people in there. Baby, don't tag me in that shit, man. See, I'm glad I don't do that no more. Cause it's like F- how I feel. I'm so confident, nigga. I ain't got to tag a yeah. motherfucking soul. You know, I'm finna put this shit out there, and this person finna listen yeah. to it. And they gonna be like, "Damn, this hard." They gonna share it. They gonna like it, and so forth, so on. Yeah. Cause if you a fan <laughs> of somebody, you already you already fucking with. If they when you know when they push some shit out, and when they do, you going to it, bro. Facts. Like and the thing about tagging ninety nine motherfuckers in there is, who you know. And then I, I also I mean cut y'all, but I also ahead. do this shit to find out who real support. Yeah, I was gonna say that too, but don't tag no nigga. They be tagging niggas that don't don't even listen to music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they gonna like and sure they ain't even gonna listen to it. Yeah, like, that's support. that'd be my main thing. Like, bro, if you don't like, if I post them about the podcast, if you don't listen to it, don't share it. Like, ain't no point. Like, that's stupid as hell to me. I don't want nobody sharing this shit if you don't genuinely listen to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say that. 
Cause it's still fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your crown. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say all that. I'm saying that cause like I'm not gonna share a nigga shit if I, I don't. I don't share shit in general anyway. Cause if I fuck, I'm just gonna fuck with it, you. Know what I'm saying I tell niggas, hey, I post in the group chats, hey, this shit hard. Go fuck with this. But like, if I don't listen to your music, whether you tag me or not, I'm not gonna go listen to it if I don't fucking listen to your music. I you give might everybody a chance. Yeah, like I mean, with I like to give people a chance. Yeah, like I go listen to it. If I don't fuck with it, I'm done. I don't gotta go back and listen to it. Even if I don't heard a wax song from him, you know yeah, yeah. Like, let me, you know, it might, buy, it might not. That be might be the one. Next song. Yeah, the, the next one might, might be one for you. Wait, wait a year and the nigga dropping. Let me actually listen again. All right, he done got better. So you if, know, you know if a nigga in that soldier field, you fucking with it. Niggas, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Nigga's childish, bro. Nigga, Cap. That's Cap. You ain't listening to that shit. You said, I'm gonna go find uh-uh. that motherfucker. No, the daily basis, but if a motherfucker drop, I'm gonna give him a chance. We know why you want to give it a chance, though. <laughs> hey, that? hey, this one is. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I already know. Niggas ain't shit, boy. <laughs> Yeah, nigga, you ain't slick. Hey, That's why you finna go check it out. A lot of this shit I do laugh at, I ain't gonna count. I'm telling you, a lot of this shit I do laugh at, because how you put that out and believe in that. You know, some of that shit, that's how I be like, bro, you yeah. put this out, believe in it. You can get them niggas up at your studio <laughs> on me. You can get them niggas up at your studio, because in, in my environment, if you say some whack shit, hey, nigga gonna let you know. I don't man, niggas don't let me know. They, they, nah, bro, that some ain't niggas, some niggas don't want to hear that shit, man. That ain't it, bro. You they want to find yes, a man. new line. That ain't it, bro. And I done did the same. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we man, out west, we used to tell each other all the time. As soon as you get done with your verse, niggas start laughing. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. I'm telling you, as soon as you get hey. done recording, you take them headphones off, and niggas start laughing. Let me go reevaluate this motherfucker. You know I, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I think motherfuckers should have one one trustworthy person that's gonna keep it straight all the time. Cause you if you recording at your house or something like that, or you go to the studio by yourself, and uh, don't just put that shit out. Let somebody hear it first. And then I really like fuck the homeboys because the homeboys gonna do that. Yeah, they gonna do that. They need to start being real with they niggas too. But it's these engineers. These engineers be man. Like I tell fam all the time. I be telling Red, and he be calling, bro, this shit is horrible. Fuck, like, fuck, hey, fuck, fuck. I be like, hey, bro, <laughs> you let that nigga yeah, come in you, there and yeah, record yeah. in your studio and drop that bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You should have told yeah. him. You know, like, bro, I'm going to record you with this shit whack. I ain't feeling this. So yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, it ain't hard. And if a nigga can't respect your honesty, he don't, he don't need to be around you. Hey, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I did a, a lot of videos that ain't on my channel just for the money. I'm like, see, you paying, nigga, fuck it. But now it's like, that's bro. What Red, that's what Red was doing. He like, bro, you should pay my bill. Yeah. Like, hey, bro. And now it's like, it, nah. It oh, make man. you lose your love. Yeah, boy. yeah. <laughs> Cause I be like, and then it'll, it'll be, it, and them be the most, the niggas that want the most changes. I want this, I want that. But like, come on, bro. This shit too ass to be trying to do it. <laughs> just uh-huh. sit in there. Like, come on, bro. I ain't finna put all my... And I gotta keep listening to this song, too? Man, no, my nigga. That's that's the main reason why I don't do a lot of collabs. Because I'm a teller, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I already know how niggas be operating. They probably be in the way. Yeah. Some bullshit. Because you trying to keep it real with a nigga because you care about your product. Yeah. So... That's 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 what I had to learn, man. I gotta care more about yeah, my if shit. If I put a nigga on the songs because I seen something in them. I heard something about them. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like he could, you know, keep up with me. If not, out rap me on a song. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's I'm the only type of people I'm trying to work at, work with. Yeah. If I feel like I'm betting you, bro, it ain't going to never happen. Right, right. I'm just being honest. It ain't going to never happen. You know, it ain't no way to look, but that's just the standard I hold myself to. Yeah. I want to be on songs with niggas that's good as me or better than me. You know, somebody's going to push me to get better. You yeah. Know? If I'm, I can't be on a song no whack nigga if, and get better like that ain't then i'm i don't like doing niggas like that yeah yeah facts facts because they go play it to they people and a motherfucker be like damn who the nigga on this verse yeah. they ain't even studying this verse. you know what i'm saying <laughs> like i don't be trying to do people like that it be so be niggas that's already like industry niggas that already made like i'm finna skip this nigga whole verse it's a few people you know and then the vibe gotta be there too you yeah know, there's some niggas i feel like you know this that's straight 
You know, got their own buzz, got they, but it's just two different vibes. Yeah. You know, I'm on this way, but I ain't on that way. And, uh, you know, that's like. Trying to, trying to put that in there. This way, not that way. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even trying to put that in there. Yeah. But it just, man, it's just how it works. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I go off vibes. You know what I'm saying? If I can hear a nigga on the song, I know this his type of record, I'm finna go to him. Yeah. But as far as, like, just trying to force something, it got to be there. Yeah, you gotta be in the studio. They got the yo verse, my verse, gotta coexist. You know what I'm saying? I can't be talking about this, and then you get on here and you talking just talking about, about other shit on a whole nother topic. That's how I feel about Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? So, so what's your end goal? I just want enough money to man, provide for my kid. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Where they ain't gotta work. As soon as they grown, they can. Start whatever they want to do with their life. Yeah, the money already there for them to invest. And that's you know that like that's my problem. I feel like if I had the money, I'd be there. You yeah, know? That's, yeah. Man, I've been feeling like that for a long time. If I had man a good five hundred k, it's a yeah. wrap. You know, they say it take about two fifty to break a record. If I had a good five hundred k, I'm telling you, it's a wrap. Like you said, two hundred fifty to break the record. Use the other money for the, you know, video. I feel like I already got songs. I, I just got to put, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And redoing, like, real videos, not just, yeah, no yeah. basic shit. That's, well, that's one of my goals, to actually get to doing videos that it, that's actually, you know what I'm saying, there's something. a whole Have a whole team, you know what I'm saying, that can collab on a good idea, actually go get, like, venues and whatever the fuck we need for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, what? I'm gonna get there one day though, man. If I decide to go back to that shit, and he ain't done. I'm done with that. Shit. I'm just the only nigga he shoot music videos for. Nigga, they already think that, man. <laughs> it's a fact. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, them niggas know you talk about gunny and them. That shit funny. <laughs> they be, they do be saying it's your nigga, that's your nigga. Oh nah, man, nah, they just nah. be catching me when I be down here, you know. And I be posting I'm like I'm gonna be down. My niggas, you be shooting videos yeah. For. Like if I be like, yeah, I want to come down there. On, I post it. You know what I'm saying? You see it. They they usually don't see it. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I'm the only nigga that can get him to do a video right now. Yeah, because I'm right here, nigga. <laughs> Even if he was in Dallas, that's no. what y'all don't know. No. You gonna tell y'all no. I'm retired. I'm, nigga ain't retired if I want a video. I'm retired. He ain't retired if I want a video. Facts. I'm retired. Shit, I'm just one dude that can do your shit. Ain't he from here? Or you see? Uh. uh Damn, what's dude name, man? I only use one nigga. And he right. No, no, no. I can't think of dude. Ah, you look, I can't think of that nigga. I'm name. just saying. I only shoot videos with one nigga. He right here beside me. The chemistry already there. Shit, I don't even know you for real. All right. I, I just know you from the nigga that got the dough kicked in on him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wish Gully was here. Hey, hey that's Matter, a, man, let's incredible say that. story. Let's say that, Jeff. For days of, I come down here, bro. Had a that's nigga on his bitch. Incredible story. Oh my mama. Had a nigga on here, man. Boy, that's, bro, that's one of the funniest days of my life. Oh God. Shit, I ain't got no more questions, man. You nigga ain't kicked the door in on me. You, you was right there, but you was closer to the door. No one. Who was Cola? Because I was in the corner in the kitchen, <laughs> in the dining room. That nigga was scared. Man, get the fuck out of here! I was already over there chilling the whole time. That nigga was scared. That nigga just be lying, man. Can't trust nigga with dreads. You got them. Nah, you these got just twists, man. I ain't got no dreads. Locks, nigga. You nah, got never, them. never. Nigga got neck braids. I'm done. <laughs> Past that, man. Come on, man. Don't ever disrespect like, me, man. Let's go back to the snitching thing. <laughs> I already know my answer. What? You gonna snitch? It's hard to say, man. I only say it's hard to say because his lawyer said they can't use his that plea. Nigga told. He said he can't use his plea in court. So told. I'm gonna tell you why he told. I just what the, I just seen a post. Said he left YSL. Yeah, I seen that. that. I seen that. You didn't snitch. <laughs> you not finna disassemble hey. yourself from the squad. The I'm heat, sorry. The he might have like, hey bro, we gotta let you go, man. That nigga told. <laughs> I don't think about that. I don't the know. way it look, all them niggas telling the other nigga. The, the Woody nigga, nigga check this post. Hey, I seen that that, that YSL Woody nigga. Yeah, they that said nigga that nigga Walker. He checked this post like they said that nigga. Is this real? They said that nigga been snitching for like eleven years, bro. 
Nigga checked his polls. <laughs> How am I still living? That shit funny, man. I think I just seen academics posting about that shit, bro. On uh, YouTube. I'm going to watch that shit. It's your buddy, Jacob. <laughs> I'm like, how the fuck is he saying this shit? I don't know. Hey, but... Yeah, it be so funny. And then, bro, because he done took on this whole... I don't know if people or people not. He be trying to be Charleston White Jr. Yeah. In a way. He want to act tough, and I'm going to call the police. Yeah. I know you talking about. He been arguing with Blueface on Twitter for like the past. Bro, he ain't never been like weeks. that. I mean, when niggas used to say something to him, he gets scared and... Yeah. and Here you go. Charleston White, man. I uh, said retract. I don't know, man. No, Charleston White ain't retracting. I'm, I'm sorry. Charleston White ain't retracting. He ain't backing up. You fuck with him? I fuck with Charleston White. Do he snitch? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That nigga. But this is why you got to respect a nigga like that. Because if a nigga telling you what he on, <laughs> if a nigga telling you what he on, and you still fuck, fuck with, with him, him yeah. and you get snitched on, hey, you hey, cannot you be that. mad at you him. You knew that He already. told your ass, bro. I'm going to snitch on your ass. Now, it's funny. I feel like it's a character. Yeah. I, don't, I don't feel like, you know, he just really going around he looking to sni- snitch on people. tell on people. Yeah. But I, you know, if they... Nigga trying to get some clout off of him or something, and he gonna you know do it to. He just a petty nigga, bro. I think he the only petty nigga, only bro. downside to that is, if something do happen to him, he'll beef with so many people they don't know who did it. I don't think they will. Every video I done seen somebody try to press him, he he on that. But it ain't the ones though. Who like that, who? I don't say them niggas name, man. Say them like, what you mean? That's pressing him. Charleston White? Yeah. Are oh, you scared because you live in Texas? <laughs> I ain't scared of that I, nigga. No, I ain't talking about them. I don't know nobody down there like that. You know what I'm saying? Like the people he beefing with, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, he ain't ran into like some Dirk of them. Dirk and all them. He yeah, them too. He ran into the one nigga, the 600 Breezy nigga. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. He ran into 600 Breezy nigga. Yeah. May Soldier Boy. Yeah, see, Soulja Boy ain't it, man, man. Come on, man. Who else? That's one nigga. Everybody got. else be like people from, you know, Texas. They yeah. be bumping down. But even then. See, I don't know, know, know them. Man. I don't know about none of them niggas. Bro, I be seeing them videos, bro. You be talking bad to them. Now, nah, it's different man? if the nigga ran into, like, but that nigga in jail, though. Like, um, um, what's the nigga that was with Vaughn when he got killed? Muwap. See, it's different yeah. between he ran into Muwap versus 600 Breezy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah, nigga, you gotta kill. I could tell that about that. That's wife. what I'm saying. That's Charles the White nigga, you gotta kill. That's what I'm saying. Like if somebody kill him, who you? Who, they can't say who did it. He was beefing with niggas from Chicago, niggas from Texas. But he done did so much. I don't feel like nobody ever tried that because they yeah. feel like he. They already feel like he the feds, even if he ain't, because he put that out there. He yeah, put that energy. Out. I don't think nobody do that to him. So double that sword. Niggas a character, bro. He's definitely funny. So double that sword, man. Either he, he's he, definitely he just talking so much shit, they ignoring him. He's or he's doing so much, you don't know what happened to him. Yeah, he's definitely entertaining to watch. He be having a message a lot of the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, hey. I think we're going to run out of time on that camera, though. So, you got anything else you want to say, man? Cheap ass camera. No. Man, oh, shit. <laughs> all right, that's what we're doing. Oh. Yeah, all right, then, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, nigga. What you talking about? My camera? Plug, plug your shit, man. No, no, I'm talking about the um the memory card. Oh, to my computer. Yeah. Um, she wanna plug some shit? Oh, shit, we can. But plug no, I'm talking about your, your shit, oh. nigga. Uh, this nigga talking about little high niggas. You like, oh, plug up high. the computer? <laughs> like, nah, nigga. <laughs> nah, nigga. You need, uh, plug your shit, man. This shit, uh, my alcoholic beverage is called Pussy Paralyzer. P U X X Y Paralyzer. P A R why yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey. I'm gonna put that shit in the description. Put this shit on the screen Please too, man. That. Leave a clip up in there too. <laughs> I like raw shit. I mean, I ain't no nigga. Man. Come on, you man. need to be suspect, bro. <laughs> nah, don't fucking play you with me. You need suspect, nigga. You know me better man. than that. I feel like niggas do that. Be suspect, bro. Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> nigga ain't even thinking about. Yeah, nigga, like get out somewhere. Hey, I think it's a habit, like, like saying nigga down, man. Authentic, you know what I'm saying? I just like to yeah. be authentic. Niggas, man, it happened. Oh, don't put that on her, bro. It's gonna make me look slow. Yeah, nigga, you real slow. Fuck that, nigga. 
Yeah, when niggas get the dough kicked in. Pussy Paralyzer, you can look that up on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my artist page on Facebook, Full of the Great, F U L L A T H E G R, and the number eight. Full of the Great on YouTube, Full of the Great on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. Full of the Great. Shit. And there it is, my episode 45 a day. <laughs> and we out this bit. No, it ain't 44. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, you got slow mama too. Uh, Bet five. Bet five. It's 45. You said 45. It's 45, nigga. Now, nigga. Episode 44 right there, nigga. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. I ain't hearing that. It's always nigga that losing 2K. It's always nigga that losing 2K, man. And we out this bitch, nigga. I'm 18 now. Black Visionary Podcast.